and Free Festival. <laughs> yes. Not meant to bash men, but it's actually based on, you know, serious allegations. It's, it's, it's based on joke. serious allegations of sexual assault in a very recent festival just a few days ago at the Bravala Festival, which is a major, major music festival in Sweden. Uh, it was cancelled for next year. Why did they cancel it? Because there were women complaining of rape and sexual assault and molestation. There were four potential rapes and 22 counts of molestation. So the festival ended early on July 1st. So now there was a, a, a Swedish comedian named Emma Nicker who joked on Twitter that she should organize a man-free festival and everyone responded on Twitter and they said it was a great idea and they thought it was they were really supporting her and PR people got in touch with her so now she's so actually like gonna do gonna it happen. she's actually gonna do it and it's not the first time a music festival has had women free uh, man-free zones the Glastonbury festival for instance had a, a women only venue called the sisterhood okay so and then the, I remember the Lilith tour all yeah, these years ago yeah. and, and there are a bunch of American festivals that are women only yeah I mean, so I find it, it kind of sad you know that we have that to do Come in, right. It's not trying to be like we hate men. It's just we have to keep our women. Women, have, you safe. know, feel under threats, and right. it's, it's sad that you have to create spaces like that where you know men are. Well, that's men something are that, that that hopefully uh, will start to change. All right, let's yes. talk.